A game-changing development has taken the tech world by surprise. I think we should take the development out of China very, very seriously. A free open-source AI model emerged seamlessly out of nowhere. It not only matched but surpassed some of the most advanced systems on the market. What made this even more remarkable was its origin. It wasn't a new release from OpenAI, nor a breakthrough from Anthropic. It was a deep seek and AI model developed in China. And its development left top AI researchers in the United States in amazement, especially when they learned about the staggering cost behind it. It's opened a lot of eyes of like what is actually happening in AI in China. The training cost for DeepSeek version 3 was just $5.576 million. And in comparison, OpenAI spends a massive $5 billion annually. Why? Google's capital expenditures are projected to exceed $50 billion by 2024. Microsoft, on the other hand, invested over $13 billion just in OpenAI. And yet, DeepSeek's model outperformed these highly funded AI models from leading American companies. And the contrast is truly mind-blowing. To see the DeepSeek um, um, new model, it's, it's super impressive in terms of both how they have really effectively done an open source model that does what uh, is this inference time compute and it's super compute efficient. Before we dive deeper into this, make sure to like, share and subscribe. Do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from the Edureka's YouTube channel. Also, check out the Edureka's postgraduate program in Generative AI and Machine Learning, the link to which is given in the description box below. DeepSeek didn't stop at the success of its powerful open source AI model. Instead, it quickly introduced R1 a next-generation reasoning model that has already surpassed the advanced OpenAI V1 model in several third-party benchmarks. This rapid innovation highlights DeepSeek's ability to surpass even the most well-funded United States AI giants, proving that agility and creativity can disturb the established leaders in the race of the AI dominance. As we dive deeper into this, let's hear from Martin Veshev, the director of Bulgarian Institute for Computer Science, Artificial Intelligence and Technology. He recently made some interesting statements about the AI industry and they are shaking things up. So he pointed out that a Chinese AI startup claimed to have developed its R1 LLM model with less than $6 million, while other companies are pouring in billions. That announcement alone caused Nvidia stock to drop. And according to Martin, these models are built by strong researchers and engineers in the field, many of whom actively publish their work. But developing these AI models can be incredibly expensive. Just to give you an idea, running 2048H800 GPUs could cost anywhere between 50 to 100 million dollars. And he also mentioned that the company handling the data center is backed by a massive Chinese investment fund, with far more GPUs than just those 2048H800 units. As for the architecture behind DeepSeek R1 and V3 models, Martin explained that they use a mixture of experts, MOE approach. Simply put, this means that at any given time, only a small percentage of the model is active, making it much more efficient in real-time use. This raises a lot of questions about the cost efficiency, AI development strategies, and how companies are competing in this space. Now, the question is, if DeepSeek's development is being reported to have cost only 5 to $6 million, how does this figure align with the extensive infrastructure, data center operations, and substantial backing from Chinese investment funds? Could there be more to the story that isn't being disclosed? Let us know in the comment section below. As far as the research indicates, DeepSeek V3 has been utilized as the base model for DeepSeek R1. And this progression highlights DeepSeek's strategic approach to building on its existing architecture while pushing the boundaries of AI capabilities. DeepSeek R1 distinguishes itself by relying entirely on reinforcement learning fine-tuning, a focused and efficient method that contrasts sharply with OpenAI's GPT infrastructure. OpenAI's GPT, Generative Pre-trained Transformer Framework, employs a combination of supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning to train its models. While this multifaceted approach has proven effective, it also requires significant computational resources and time. In contrast, DeepSeek R1's exclusive use of reinforcement learning fine-tuning demonstrates a more streamlined and targeted methodology, which not only reduces cost but also enhances performance in specific tasks.
This differences in training strategies highlights DeepSeek's remarkable ability to innovate efficiency. And by building on its foundational V3 model, it developed R1, a reasoning model that has already surpassed OpenAI's advanced systems in some key benchmarks. DeepSeek's focus on reinforcement learning has allowed it to carve out a unique position, directly challenging the dominance of United States AI giants. This approach demonstrates that with strategic, resource-conscious innovation, groundbreaking results are not only possible, but they are already happening. So what do you think? Does DeepSeek open source approach give it a long-term advantage? Or will OpenAI's heavy investment in research and proprietary models keep it ahead? Share your thoughts in the comments. And with this, we have come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed listening to it, please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Do look up for more videos and playlists and subscribe to the Edureka's YouTube channel to learn more. Thank you for watching and happy learning.